What's new at the drugstore? So much fun. There are so many new products that are out. I haven't had a chance to review them with you, but that's what we're gonna do today. They're all sitting in front of me and I'm super excited to share my experience with them because I have tried them all out extensively because they've been out for a while. So hopefully this will be very informative to you. Don't forget that the outfit that I have on will be listed and linked below along with my fingernails, my jewelry, all of the makeup I have on Anything like that will be listed and linked below. And I always try to put it in the first pinned comment for you as well, so that you can find it a little bit easier. Sometimes I forget, but I will try to do that for you. All right, let's get into this because I have so much to talk about and so many good and bad. All right, Real Techniques, this is not the first time they've come out with this, but they did just come out with a new one of these pastel little puffs. If you haven't tried these before, I think it was Beauty, Beauty Blender that came out with this in the beginning, and then Real Techniques followed not too long, after that. Now what it is is the piece of memory foam inside of a powder puff type thing. You can use either side. This is the soft powder puff side and then this is almost like a blending side like a makeup sponge would be. So you can use this to touch up your makeup, to blend out any of your makeup and then you could use the other side for powder that you wanted to. I love this and the Beauty Blender one is a little bit, is quite a bit more expensive, not a little bit, quite a bit more expensive than this one is. So this is great. And then also Real Techniques came out with these little bitty blender for concealers or touch-ups. They're super fun and I really love these. They also have a little band on them that you can put on your finger and then you can go in and touch up your concealer and do some spot treatment if you want to or you know use it all over if you want to take that much time but I think it would be a little bit too much time but if you're doing defined things you can even use this like if you're doing some contour and you want to go right into this area right here you could blend that out easily too comes in a package of three so I just thought those were great Real Techniques is one of my favorite companies for tools and for these kind of sponges they're wonderful and then we're going to get into this host of makeup let's start out with some lip glosses and these are the lip glosses that came out oh gosh i don't know probably last month maybe in in december not exactly sure but the nyx duck plump that's the first one let's talk about this now the color of this one is really beautiful and the consistency is beautiful because it's a little bit thicker so i would say that instead of this just being a regular lip gloss this is almost like a lip cream but you know what and i've got a smudge of mascara right there already and i don't know why but you know what this one stings so bad so this is like the cinnamon burn that they have or the hot sauce burn that they have in lip plumping products and i I'm not a fan of that. I would much rather have the menthol tingling feeling that's a little bit easier to, you know, have on your lips. But this is a beautiful color. It's very saturated. And I did like that about this particular lip plumper. I have not seen a lot of lip glosses be that saturated with their lip gloss. Let me tell you what color this one is, just so you know if you're interested. This one is called Pick Me Pink number 11. Same thing with the Maybelline Lifter Plump. This is the Lifter Gloss Plump Formula. Now, I do like this one, but same thing. It has a chili pepper on here, which tells me that's got those ingredients that make it like a hot sauce type thing. This one is way less opaque. It has hardly any pigment to it. This one is called Blush Bla Blush Blaze. And again, like I said, there is hardly any pig pigment to it at all. It's just a glow, but it does have, again, that really heavy, super stinging feeling. It's not like a menthol feeling like um, Buxom would be or City Beauty or that kind of thing. Those are actually my favorite two ever of those. But these are nice if there's something that you are interested in. Do I feel like they do a lot of plumping? I feel like you get a lot of blood to your lips. So yes, as far as that goes, you're gonna get that temporary plumpness from these. There is a beautiful couple of others that came out. And this one right here is from LA Girl. And this is kind of just a sparkly gloss. It's called Lumilicious. And let's see if I can figure out, this one's called Sweetheart. And this has a lot of reflex in it, a lot of glitter in it. So it's got a little bit more of that shine on the lips. I can put this one on a little bit so you can see. So it does have a little bit more of that. Now, one of the things that drives me crazy about a gloss that has glitter in it is sometimes they get to where they have like grit in them. That's not this. 
This is very nice. It's very hydrating and it's going to give you a beautiful glow to your lips or a beautiful shine to your lips. So I do like that one. NYX came out with their fat oil slick click and this is the same concept as Tarte is and this is the color that I actually have on today. I can put this one on again too. I don't know. I'm mixing so many that you won't be able to even tell what I have on. But this is the color that I have on my lips and then I put that lip gloss over top of it. So this one is called Cloud. This one on the lips is a really pretty pink but as you can see as I'm building it up there even it has a lot of shine but not a super ton of pigment. Enough pigment, but it's not super pigmented like the next one over here is. And that's how those ones from Tarte really are. They are a lot of hydration, a lot of juiciness to them, and kind of a fun delivery system. I also wanna mention again, I have mentioned this before, but this is the Panorama Mascara from L'Oreal. I really like this wand. I really like that it's just this straight up and down wand. I like that it's a silicone bristle brush, brush. And I love how it separates and it defines my lashes so much. And I am wearing this one today on my lashes. It really defines them, separates them, and gives me a lot of length and gets every single lash covered. So I do look like I have thicker lashes than I do. This one, I want to tell you that I'm so impressed that this one will be on at the end of the day when I go to take it off. It's not one that is going to flake or rub off or give you raccoon eyes at all. I was really impressed that this one, I was definitely taking it off, but it wasn't like a waterproof mascara. I was just using cleansing balm. It was coming off fine, but it was there. And this one is one that's not going to make you at the end of the day wonder if you put mascara on at the beginning of the day. So I really do want to recommend that one. Now there are two new ones from Essence that I want to talk about and it's the new Essence Lash Princess Primer This one is that white primer that we see so much. I do really like this brush This is a brush that is in all of the Lash Princess ones This is a more of a natural bristle brush instead of the silicone or the plastic and I do like that about it I However, did find that I did need to work with this a little bit more. So in working with it, you're going to have to try and, you know, rub some of it off. Otherwise, it's going to get a little bit clumpy. I do feel like it did have a little bit of extra fibers in it that clung to my natural lashes that gave it that primer effect. Now, did it make my other mascara stay on longer? I can't definitive, definitively say yes or no. I feel like it made them look thicker. It made them look longer but not as far as longevity. I don't feel like it did that. So it's a good primer, and I do feel like it's very much on par with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer. I feel like it's very much like that. So I did like that very much. And then they came out with the Brown Lash Princess, and I was really excited about this one. This one is the False Lash Effect, and it's the Brown Black. Now, I want to tell you that I feel like this is a little bit more of the brown and I do like that so much because if you are very fair like I am as far as your skin color goes it really does help to have a brown in your arsenal for everyday wear this is a beautiful one and it performs every bit as nicely as the original Lash Princess did. If you've tried the Lash Princess, you know that you either love it or hate it, and I'm somebody that loves it. I actually do like the waterproof for me a little bit more. So what I will do on this one, because I do want it to be that super longevity sometimes, I'll take that waterproof formula, I'll put a very thin coat on, and then I'll put this one over top of it, and then I've got a bulletproof mascara for the whole day. And so the color on this is what I'm really loving so much. I think this is one that if you've been wanting a really nice brown mascara, you're going to really like this. The next one is from NYX, and this is the new Marshmallow Setting Spray. They have the Marshmallow Primer, which I love. I will say that this setting spray, I do believe it does have alcohol in it. So this I would reserve for myself because I am such a dry skin person. I would reserve this in the very humid months in the summer. And I would probably spray this on a brush or a sponge and just take it around the areas that get a lot of breakthrough on myself. If you are an oily person or a combo person, you may really love this. Now we all know that alcohol is not the greatest, but sometimes you need that powerhouse to lay down that makeup on your face and have it be budge proof on there. The mist on it is fairly fine. I was really surprised at that. And the other thing is I do wanna to mention to you that it does have 
a scent to it. It has that marshmallow scent just like the primer does, which doesn't bother me. It dissipates very quickly, but some people that might bother. And so I wanted to make sure that I told you about that. Another product that I got from L'Oreal, this is their new True Match. I think this says, we better get the glasses for this one too. Serum Corrector Concealer. This has 1.5% of hyaluronic acid in it. I don't feel like things that have hyaluronic acid in them unless they have different types of hyaluronic acid. Let me clarify what I'm saying. Hyaluronic acid is usually sodium hyaluronate and I find that after I put that on and it sits a little while, it actually is going to dry me out a little bit more. I'm probably the exception, but hyaluronic acid doesn't necessarily work on me unless it's put in with other ingredients. So this one for me did not give me the coverage that I wanted. It did, it kind of broke apart and looked very mottled on me. The other thing was, um, I'm not sure what color this is. Let me try and look at the color. This one is C3, which the C denotes cool. And it is light, it says light medium. This was so yellow. I mean, it was yellow, yellow. And then it just continued to oxidize and look even worse as the day went on. So not only did it model and not give great coverage, but it also was a disaster as far as the color. And if this is the cool, I would be in trouble if I even went towards neutral or warm. So this one was a big fat no for me. Now, I do also wanna tell you that I did try, oh, there's a lot of bus in, the, in this video, sorry. There's a lot of things that just weren't that great. The one from make the new one from Makeup Revolution. This is the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. I have mine in F6. This is a very light coverage foundation. And when it says serum like, it's very serum like. There is hardly any coverage. I actually wore it today and I do have it on today, but I did have to go in with my concealer and completely spot treat my whole face, which is kind of defeating the purpose of even wearing foundation. I might as well have just worn concealer. But if you're somebody that doesn't have the need to even out your skin tone, like I do, I have dark spots, hyperpigmentation, redness, and I have areas that have a lot of sun damage. I want to even out that skin tone. This one might be for you if you're just looking for something to wear in order to just give you a little bit of coverage and a little bit of evenness, this might be perfect. Very thin formula, just not a lot of pigment in here and not a lot of coverage, so you know that. A couple of things that I absolutely loved so that you know is I picked this up from Elizabeth Mott on Amazon and it's called the Thank Me Later face primer. This is the hydrating formula and it does have an SPF in it. Let me get my glasses. It has an SPF of 30. So that's good. What I loved about this is it does have a little bit of a uh, flesh tone in there. So it's not a lot, but it was enough that I did notice a little bit of evening even before I went in with my foundation. The other thing that I really loved about it is I did feel like it was hydrating, but I felt like it went in and it blurred those pores. And this dried down so quickly. It was like my skin just soaked it up and then it was so smooth. And that's what I'm feeling right now as I'm rubbing it across my hand. I'm feeling a super smoothing going on. And that's the reason that I loved it so much. So this is one that I can definitely put my thumbs up on. It did make my makeup look better. I feel like it did its job, which is create that barrier between your foundation and your moisturizer. And that makes your foundation look better through the day because it's not getting sucked into your pores. So this is a really good one and I'm really pleased with it. Okay, last product I'm gonna leave you with is from Moira and this is one of their highlighters. This is called Dream Light Highlighter in Honeysuckle. And this reminds me so much of the one from Rare Beauty. It has that same beautiful high beam about it and it also has a luminosity about it. Now some highlighters, they'll have pinpoint reflex or something like that in them and they're a little bit harder to wear, not this one. This one is gorgeous. You can sheer that out if you want to or you can build it up like crazy. I just really love Moira. I think that as far as their products go, they knock it out of the park when they're doing a product. They do it very, very well. I love this and it has a few different shades and I wanted to make sure that I brought it to you. So that is what's new at the drugstore. I'm sure that you all have quite a few new products that you've tried that I need to know about. So don't forget to leave that in the comment section as well. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. I appreciate you stopping by and your support as always. And I hope that you're all doing really well. Love you much and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.